Welcome back to Ralph's house. We're going to let this tree dry just a minute. We've got a lot of white in there and that's probably that it is the slowest drying color that we're using in acrylics. If I try to go keep going over it, my colors that keep laying in are coming right back out. So let's lay down a row bed. Let's get our row put in here. Uh, I'm going to take just some, uh, what I grab right here? Raw sienna. That sounds like a good row color. Oh yeah, there's a row color in there. Let's kind of just lay that down there. And again, that's right out of the tube. Oh, you don't paint the colors right out of the tube. Guess what? We ain't worried about that. We're painting a road. Everybody's got their own opinion. Get the paint on there. You can't paint without paint. That road lays flat or laid in there. Let's get that in there. A little more water. Just get it on there. Don't mind if you stroke the show. We don't care. We're trying to get paint on there. And you know what's funny about that? Sometimes I get somebody, don't be afraid to paint up to the grass. It's a glaze. It ain't gonna make the glass disappear. Because we're just trying to get that road in here. Now I'm gonna pick up a little uh, sienna. Just, now we're mixing colors. And so we could mix it on canvas. I kind of add a little more depth to it, just throw that extra color on top of a color. And of course, most brothers have a little wagon rut. Let's grab a little bit of ultramarine blue. Let's get our wagon ruts going. Let's kind of figure out where they're at. And see, lose that hard edge. Look at that. That kind of looked like a wagon rut getting down into there a little bit. Let's get another one over here on this side of the road a little bit. Just kind of heading back out through there. A little bit harder. There we go. We'll lose that. We'll use that. Of course, all the structures didn't stay in the same ruts. They got ruts all over the place. That's what we're trying to do, see. And the party coming to program, a little bit darker on the road. Dark road lays down. As cross, your strokes you go be laying flat. The grass grew up, road lays flat. Paint that way. A little more red in here and it's in. A lot of colors, always have. See, the colors help really make this thing. That's where you're going to gain all your depth. We get a little uh, burn number here. Get that into the road. That's a good dark one. Yeah, see a little dark red dirt there. Especially where we know the sun ain't shining, right over here next to this edge. Put it on there and then lay it down, scrub it into the What's there, see? We're just trying to make this look like an old country road. More colors, more strokes. One more ultramarine blue up into this here. Even some more dark in here. Blend it all together. Get some strokes. I want those brush strokes to show. Don't be afraid to put them in there. Scrub it all back off. Tell you what, I got some of that. Now we're going to pick up some of this tree color. Let's get this. That's where the light's hitting on that tree, you see. Take it off. What's that mean? Well, exactly that. It won't come off. Take as much as you can get off. It keeps it just so you can 
I can lighten that seat again, but let's see that's the color still in that tray. I can put it on, I can scrub it off, but it don't all come off. You're just adding more colors into that tree, more depth, more layers, more colors I get in there. So we're just we're getting color in that tree on the side where the sun's coming from, see? Where all my lights are. But see, it's, I put it on, try to erase it, what happened? It's still there. You don't have to be sick. I just want it on there. And give me some colors. So it kind of look like the sunlight's coming over and hitting on that side of the tree a little bit. So we got, we'll go back with more darks, more lights. We still got to put leaves on there. You know, we got to put the shadows of the leaves on the tree. Then we got to put the uh, the lights casting through between those and some brighter lights. And you're building up layers. And most people try to paint a finished painting. That ain't how you get there. You work, you get there, you achieve it, but you keep piling it up layer on layer to get there. what we're doing right here. So I'm just get my lights covered up. I'm gonna take a little bit of this ultramarine blue. You say blue? Look yeah. How, look, how yeah. Gray, look how grayed out. Look how grayed out. Put it on, take it off. So I kind of get back to a tree color a little bit. Yeah. So that'll get in that ultramarine blue mixed in with that light color paint there. Put it on, roll it around, move it around. We're getting back to that gray tree color that we need. And so we can play with this, and we're going to move this tree so many different colors, so many different ways uh, to get to what we need. And I'll tell you what, guys, hang around. We ain't through with this tree yet. He ain't beat us yet. Y'all come.